I figured I'd go through the uh, the SSO config. It's a little bit confusing for the Identity Center. So um, this is how it works. You go and say uh, AWS configure SSO. And then it'll say, what's the name? It's fine. Okay. US East 1. Okay. JSON profile. Okay. Um, the the AWS config I had to set, and that's located, this is where it'll be located. Um, I say cat AWS config. Yeah, so that's where it's located. Um, I had to set these details here in order for it to, to work automatically uh, without like resetting it up every time. So um, default is your profile and that will automatically come up whenever you use the AWS CLI. You create a session and basically what you're doing is you're linking this SSO session to the profile name. So you're linking these two. So the SSO session for the default profile is named wing. So that refers to this. And it has the start URL as, you know, your, um, your start URL is going to be in here, uh, here. Okay, so that's your start URL, and then your region. Um, this again is going to be U.S. East two, in Ohio by default for your SSO, unless you rip it out and start from like if you wanted a U.S. East one instead, you could rip it out. But since this comes stock, I just figured, okay, I do everything in US East 1, but in this case, I just left it standard because, well, it's my first time doing SSO and AWS and I didn't want to like start customizing it. So that's why. Um, so SSO region US East 2 start is from that page here on the uh, Identity Center page, uh, setting summary. And sc scopes the SSO account access, this is just that's the standard thing. And then this is the profile that, so here's your default profile. And then here's the profile that um, I guess will be linked with this somehow. I don't know the exact, how it exactly works, but um, <clears throat> I think this is what I want to use default. And this is what I'm probably actually using here. Um, SSO session wing, so you have this um, I bet if, let's see if I got rid of, let's see if I just say like, uh, um, I have this here, so we could just, I could clear this out. I could say rm dash rf or just rm dot aws configure or it's not configure and then say aws, uh, configure. SSO from scratch and we can say okay since I'm using the wing account to do like Terraform and stuff by hand I'm gonna I'm gonna just that's what I want to use the SCLI for an SDK so we'll just say wing will be the session start URL okay so we'll do this one okay region US East 2 I could type that out but it's just gonna minimizes user error registration scopes yep SSO account access that's the standard uh, okay and then we'll ask ask you to do this here confirm and uh, allow bottle core okay and then I just accepted the defaults from there um, it says this is what's available to you oh CLI default region I want US East 1 JSON uh, yeah, we could do that. Okay, so <clears throat> AWS S3 L S. Okay, unable to lo locate. <clears throat> Cat AWS config. Like we have a oh, profile, okay. 
So yeah, we want the default profile. I think that's what, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> let me go like this. And I think we do need this. I think we need this profile name for this like session profile with this. So the session is gonna be the link to where you're starting at, what location and the, what the scope. So you need that. I think this is the profile, the session profile for this. And I think um, the default profile just for, you know, um, Let me see if that works. No. Okay. Access key ID, so no, we don't want that. Okay. Um, all right, let's just copy this. Then. And just say RM or just okay. Um, Vim AUS config, and then I'll just say visual. I'm just gonna wipe all this out. Uh, isn't that how that works? How do you delete? <laughs> Insert now, delete. Oh no, wait. Okay, go like this. I need to do escape again. Insert. Oh my god. Escape. Visual. Go like this. And delete. Delete. Oh my god. D so delect okay. So okay. Escape V D. Okay. Visual delete. Okay. Escape insert. <clears throat> So <clears throat> I went through some rigmarole, but uh, the uh, this is what worked for me. Basically, <clears throat> default is the name of your profile. Typically, you you have the default with your uh, region output, and then you have um, you have an, a keychain in here, which is at this doesn't matter anymore because I deleted it. But uh, AWS credentials. I think I deleted my credentials, but at AWS credentials, typically you would have, um, yeah, you, you, you'd have some credentials at AWS credentials and the credentials would be your secret key and access key. They would link to your default account and uh, you would use region output for that. But in this case, we got rid of those keys and we're just using the um, dynamic, you know, the SSO. So it's going through here getting temporary uh, tokens rather than using long lasting keys. And uh, so yeah, um, I can try one more time. Um, okay, we could say AWS configure SS. Oh, we'll just say AWS configure maybe. Oh, you need to ask this key, okay, so. Configure SSO. 
And then session name will say wing URL start. This these two. Client region US East one JSON um, <clears throat> CLI profile name. Yeah. Uh, we could try it this way or we could try it default. I want to call actually call the CLI profile. We could try it with default and see if that works. AOS S3 LS. Yeah, well, so that seems to work. Let's see, cat AWS config. So what that looks like is, is that close to what it? Default SSO session wing, account ID, power user access, US East one, JSON, SSO session wing. Yeah, perfect. Okay. That's the way you want it. You want to say what is your what is the CLI your CLI profile name needs to be default. And that way it'll come up without you having to special specify dash dash profile every time you make a command. Okay, so this is what you want. This is uh, uh, excuse me that right there. So if I just if I actually updated this. With that, this is actually, this is actually a longer version. This has got extra shit in it. So this is default SSO session wing, account ID, role name, USC Swan JSON. Okay, and then SSO session wing. Da, da, da. And then you have another profile here for whatever reason this needed to come up here. You have default SSO session wing account ID, role name, region output, and then SSO session wing, start URL east, boom. You don't need this extra part. This is not necessary. Okay. So I, I think I just did it wrong to begin with, but let's blow this one away again. Or let's not even blow it away. Let's just do this and see if it works here. S3 LS. Yeah. Okay. So that's the correct one. So let's remove this AWS S3, um, oh, excuse me, AWS configure SSO, SSO name wing start URL. Actually, you know what I could do? I don't even have to go through that all again. I could just say um, vim AWS config insert and then just put this in there. And I'll delete both of these. Start a new one. AWS S3 LS. Boom. Okay. So yeah, this is this is all that's required here. bang and that way I mean yeah somebody could know my account ID but there's no secret key to there's no secret key to uh, to get out like no even if you have my account even you have all this information this is the only information my system needs but you still can't access this even if you have all this information you still can't hack me because you would need to um, be able to, to yeah you can't hack me because you need to have access to the this account. You need to be able to log in here. I'm not telling you that. 